Welcome to my channel Data Analytics and Artificial Intelligence News. Today I would like to show you how to connect the SAP Datasphere, former SAP Data Warehouse Cloud, DWC, to the database tool DBiva. DBiva is a universal database tool with all the functionalities you need to administrate a database. You can execute selects, you can preview data, and all other functionalities which are necessary for database administration. To connect the SAP data sphere to the database tool, we have some prerequisites which needs to be done first. At first, we need to have a database user available within the SAP data sphere with the password available. This user can be created under space management under the section database user while clicking create. The important setting which needs to be done is to give the user the read rights. After finishing it, you will get a pop-up with the password. This is essential to copy because it will be displayed only once. Another prerequisite is the installation of the Beaver should be finished further. After installing the Beaver version on your PC, either in a portable version or via installer, you will get after launch this screen. Yes, of course, I have some, uh, some connection already set up, but this will be empty if you launch it the first time. To create a connection to the SAP data um, sphere, you can easily click on the tab here, New Connection. You can search for HANA, get one result. By clicking Next, you are forced to enter some credentials and also the host here. You can copy those settings out of your uh, user creation pop-up. You put in the port. Enter the username for it and of course the password which is also prompted via the creation of a user. You can mark it as safe and by clicking finish you are you will be seeing the established connection. And with the green mark you see that everything is working and we can consume now tables out of this space. And what you can do also is to do some preview tests or display tests. You can do a double click on one specific table, click on data and the data is fetched and you see the result here. And based on one table, you can also do SQL statements. For example, a select. You can copy it out on the specific schema here. You can go to the, with the right mouse click to the SQL editor, open SQL script, put in the select statement, which we copied before, Execute it and you can see the result here. You can also adjust it, adjust it here by reducing the columns, for example. By clicking execute, you will see the result of this SQL statement. That's everything. Thank you for watching and stay tuned. And I'm um, I'm lucky if you would subscribe my channel and have a great day.